Hello, and welcome to an overview of the Roadmaps feature, available in NextGen and Classic Type projects in free, standard, and premium editions of Jira. My name is Dennis. I'm a product manager on the Roadmaps team. And today, I will demonstrate how your team can go beyond boards and backlogs to do bigger picture planning. Roadmaps are now enabled by default in all new projects. However, if you like me and have an existing classic type project, you can easily enable it via the board settings, like so. It is worth mentioning that in the classic type project, the roadmap is attached to a board, not the project. Once enabled, you will be able to access your roadmap from the menu on the left. By design, roadmap is for a single project. This means that if you're using cross-project JQL for your board, like in this example here, it will not be possible to enable the roadmap for that board. It's easy to create epics right here on the roadmap. Child issues of any type can also be created in line. Now that we have a few epics on this roadmap, let me demonstrate how easy it is to add a dependency. In this example, to start working on a 2.0 version of the mobile app, it will probably depend on shipping a beta version of the app first. Let's adjust the start and end dates and then make sure that it is clear to everyone viewing this roadmap that there is dependency present in the delivery of this project. One of the great features of the roadmap is the ability to quickly scan the progress of the epics. As you can see, I have changed the status of the epics child issues, which is reflected in the beautifully presented progress bar. Where the blue indicates issues in progress and green indicates the percentage of done issues. Once your roadmap is populated with many epics, it can be useful to highlight a specific group. Here, I am going to change the color of two epics that we think will delight the customer. The first option to change the color of the epic bar is to simply click on it, then use the color picker next to the epic name. Although I personally prefer using the right click context menu as it is much faster. To find a specific item on the roadmap, we have created a number of useful filters. Please note that all filters are applied to epics and epic children. For example, if I was looking for a story named Drop Zone API, I would use the text filter. If I expand the epic, I will see the story I was looking for. As you can see, the very first epic on our roadmap named Update Docs has a green tick next to it, indicating that it has been completed. We have received feedback that hiding complete epics from the roadmap could help to reduce the number of items displayed, making it easier for a viewer to focus on the upcoming incomplete work. Well, we have great news. Our team has implemented Epic Display Options, which you will find in the view settings. Here I'm going to select Incomplete, and as you can see, Update Docs Epic is no longer displayed on our roadmap. Sometimes, it is worth displaying a very specific group of epics to more clearly understand the bigger picture. To achieve that, you can add a label to the epics you'd like to group. Then you will be able to use the label filter to display what you need on your roadmap. Now that you know how to narrow down the epics displayed, you might want to share this filtered view of the roadmap with your stakeholders via email or place it on a slide for your presentation. The export functionality is designed for exactly that reason, and it will even let you select the right time frame. Click export, and your browser will download a PNG of your roadmap. This was an overview of the roadmaps feature, available for next-gen and classic type projects. We hope that you and your team find it useful for bigger picture planning and identifying dependencies before they become a problem. I'll see you next time. Thank you and happy planning.